result, the um, rural community land use category is to our west, and so um, we would extend that into this area um, and, and be subject to the standards of that particular land use category. Next one. Um, I want to dwell only briefly on um, some agenda materials that are in part of your packet, only to the extent that you have information that I would like to, um, to actually speak to and provide some, um, some supporting discussion. Um, so the, the wetland and number of homes, I think Mr. Brown uh, covered. We have a wetland assessment performed by Access Ecological. It was turned in um, with our application. Mr. John Shanks is here this evening, and he will speak after I do about um, the environmental assessment of the property and answer any questions you have about suitability for development. With four acres of wetlands, um, we, again, would have 96 acres of developable land. There was a material provided in your agenda packet related to um, dams and to the particularly the Lake Lark Dam. Um, Lake Lark actually owns the dam that, that um, lies under Alders Gate, as do uh, the Homeowners Association, the MSBU, and the Lake Asbury area own um, the dams in the area. And so there was a highlight brought to your attention that this particular dam um, has a high hazard potential of, um, that is high. It's a high hazard potential. And so I provided to you from the glossary of terms for the federal guidelines for dam safety what that actually means. And so a hazard potential is the potential adverse incremental consequences that result from the release of water due to the failure of the dam or misoperation of the dam or appurtenances. Impacts for downhill are either low, affects no one, significant, affects maybe a couple of people, and high, where you might have loss of life. If you look at the classification definition, it says the hazard potential classification does not reflect in any way the current condition of the dam. And so if you look at the second set of materials I provided to you, the four dams that are in the Lake Asbury area are the materials I've handed to you. The lake, all of these dams are earthen dams. They were all built in the mid-60s, late 1960s. They are all high hazard, high potential classification of high, meaning if they fail, someone will get hurt. The Lake Asbury, the Lake Lark Dam has a fair condition, a fair condition. We'll talk about that in a second. The Lake Asbury Dam, second one, has an unsatisfactory condition. The Lake Ryan Dam has a poor condition. And the Lake Asbury South Dam has a poor condition. These, um, so the dams, except for the Lake Lark Dam, um, have not had adequate maintenance um, provided to them by their owner. And so they are in a condition that is below the standard that the Lake Lark Dam is. And I would offer to you that that is most likely because of wake action on boating that goes on in those lakes. Lake Lark does not have any boating activity. It has canoes. And so as probably wake by uh, power boats that have created the, the need for additional maintenance. But I also have provided at the very end of the packet I gave you an email that Mr. Jones sent to Commissioner Burke back in June. Um, we had met with Commissioner Burke, and Mr. Jones provided um, information about the dam condition inspection for the Lake Lark Dam. And um, the message from Tracy Wood, who is the inspector, um, she inspects all the dams in this area. And she said um, that the dam condition is actually quite spectacular. It's as good as it gets. That when you have an earthen dam, the highest classification of condition that can be given is fair. Is fair. There is no higher classification for this type of dam. And so I would propose to you that um, high potential for damage the Hoover Dam has a high potential for damage. If it fails, a lot of people will die. But it is in excellent condition, and so it is not a hazard to the public. The fair condition that the Lake Lark Dam is in is also the highest condition that can be maintained. Um, on the second page, this is the, the, of the um, email that was sent to Commissioner Burke. This is actually the letter from Tracy Wood to Mr. Jones. And so there's a list of four items that they believe are the, the required um, standards to bring this, this dam into compliance. And Mr. Jones has a contractor who has bid on this work and intends to have that work completed. It is, and I've seen the pictures, it is, it is a gully running down the, the, the earthen side slope. And that is the extent of the work. Um, so additional uh, riprap and some earthen dam work. 
they did bring to the attention of, um, of Mr. Jones and hopefully also to the county that there is a county roadside drain that has not been maintained and does not appear to have an outlet and that it may contribute to damage to the dam without um, continued maintenance. So we are sure that, that DEP has made your engineering department aware of um, the, the water that the county contributes to this particular dam by the, by the road that it has on top of the dam. Um, and so really when, when we talk about um, the dam, it's not an issue for the land use category because we're going to have less development. We have a dam that's in condition. But I hear a lot of, of discussion in this community about fear about a dam failure. And I'm just here to say to you, this is one of the better dams and the better maintained dams um, that are in this community. Mr. Shanks is going to talk about um, the soils uh, report. And there was also a, um, a study submitted at the Planning Commission. It's the master plan report that was in materials that you, um, you had provided to you. This was mentioned at our first hearing by someone in the public, and we did not see that until this Friday when it was put in the packet um, from the Planning Commission. This study, I must say, was, was prepared by a senior student at the Department of Landscape Architecture at the University of Florida in 1982. And I have to say, I graduated from the Department of Landscape Architecture at the University of Florida in 1984. So this gentleman was two years ahead of me, and he was 20 years old, and it was a student project. And so Mr. Um, uh, Shanks will be able to talk to you about his professional qualifications and what he found upon his inspection of the property um, just last year. So while this study is um, meritorious for what it is and for how old it is, um, it is, should not be the basis of uh, decisions that you make today because we provided a professional environmental assessment um, based on current standards of evaluation. And so I would like to let Mr. Um, Shanks speak with you and also um, answer any questions you might have. This, is, this has been an ongoing conversation about suitability and, and dams, I think. 